Oracle Tenji database has a utility called Data Pump, which can be used to export and import files. The Data Pump utility is significantly faster than the previous mechanism of exporting and importing files. In this module, we will learn how to use Data Pump from Oracle Enterprise Manager. First, log in to the Oracle system and click on the Maintenance tab. Click on Export to Export Files link under Data Movement, Move Row Data. In the Export Type Specification screen, select Tables, enter the host credentials, and click on the Continue button to proceed. There are five steps to this process. In the first step, you have to select the tables to be exported. Click on the Add button to add the tables. In the Add Tables screen, enter the name of the schema and click on the Go button to get a list of the tables. Scroll down the screen, identify the table, and then click on the Select button. Now click on the Next button to go to the next step. In the Options screen, click on the Estimate Disk Space Now button and wait for the system to complete the estimation. When the estimation process is complete, click on the OK button to return to the previous screen. From the pull-down menu Directory Object, Select the log underscore file underscore dir and enter the name of the log file. Click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. Now specify the directory object and the file name and click on the Next button. Now you have to enter the name of the job and a description before the job can be submitted. Click on the Next button after entering the job name and description. You can review the job before submitting it. Click on the Show PL SQL button to view the PL SQL block that will be executed. Scroll down and notice the program lines which will open or start the data pump and other statements. After you have finished reviewing these, click on the Submit Job button. Wait for the job submission process to complete. This may take several minutes. The system displays a confirmation message stating that the job was created successfully. Click on the job name to see the detailed status of the job. The status of the job shows that it is still running. Click on Running link under Status to review the summary of the job. In this screen there is a Monitor Data Pump Job button that can be used to monitor the job if required. Now click on the name of the job, Export, and you can review the report and the log for the export job. You can click on the Job Run link and verify that the status of the job is now shown as completed. Click on the Database tab to return to the main screen. Click on the Logout button to exit. Congratulations! 
you have successfully used the data pump utility in Oracle 10G to export files. Please note that the data pump can also be used to import files.